I am in the kitchen with one of the most amazing chefs out there, the main woman herself, Gizzy Erskine. I'm a little bit overexcited because yeah. she's going to be teaching me how to cook the most amazing vegetarian dish. Yeah. What are we going to be making? We're going to be making something which um, is my, it's sort of like where I'd like to see vegetarian food, which is having a really meaty, um, it's a cauliflower steak that's going to be barbecued or charred. Nice. And then we're going to be serving that with a curried hummus, some curry oil, um, some cashew nut bristle and a really nice dressing. It's really simple, it, but it's really beefy for a vegetarian dish, if that makes any kind of sense. It's got muscle. Amazing, <laughs> I love a bit of muscle. <laughs> I think um, I'm most excited about this dish, yeah. definitely. <laughs> I'm gonna get on and get on with the bit, which is one of the easiest bits, um, but it's the bit that takes the longest. So I'm gonna be frying off these shallots, because what we want to get is that sort of Thai style crispy shallot. We're, we're doing this in a lot of oil. I want them to cook really slowly and then I want to get them really nice and golden brown, take out all of the liquid and then get them crisped up. Um, so we're going to start them off slowly, bring up the temperature later on. You can deep fry them. I just prefer not to because I just don't think they go as sweet. So I'm going to make get you to make uh, hummus because you okay. are a pro at that. I've seen you do it on hundred, about 100 times. Um, but my, my recipe is uh, canned chickpeas. Leave about half of the liquid that they're brined in, in there. Two tablespoons of um, the tahini. Yeah. Um, three tablespoons of lemon, that's a lot of lemon. Um, and two cloves of garlic. In the meantime, I'm going to prep my cauliflower. So what we want to do is we need to take off its bottom. Our water boiling, that's been salted. I'm going to put this in. How much salt do you put in? I put in a lot. I put in about a tablespoon. Um, which sounds like an awful lot of salt, but trust me, it does actually need it. I'm going to do a combo of olive and, um, and I'm actually going to use grape soup, you can use veg, whatever. About 150 to 200 mils of oil, it's a lot of oil, but we're using this as a marinade, we're using it as a dressing. Um, so I'm going to put in about a tablespoon of curry powder. We're just going to, you know, toast, toast these spices off a little bit in okay. this oil. Curry leaves. Yeah, curry leaves. Mm, yeah, They're them. brilliant, aren't they? For a leaf, you can't believe how much it smells of actual curry. I'm going for like a small handful uh, of these and we're just going to throw them in and what they'll do is they'll crackle and go berserk because of all the water in them. I'll just give that a stir. And you only cook that until those curries just start to crisp up. I'm going to pop this in here. And we're going to take that away and I'm just going to let that drain and steam. It looks like a big brain. It, it, it kind of does. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you a couple of tablespoons of this oil for your hummus. It's going to give it a really lovely yellow tinge. I'm going to put quite a lot of salt in there. Okay. It just needs it. Yeah. It needs quite a lot. You're going to be disgusted at this. Don't look. Yeah. But just, uh, there we go. I use Himalayan. Do you? Tell me about that. Teach me. Teach me your ways. It's got loads, loads more um, minerals in it. And actually, it's alkalizing. So having a pinch of Himalayan salt in your hot water and lemon in the morning is a great way to start the day. So there we go, this is perfect. They're like perfectly golden brown now. They might not feel crunchy straight away, but within about, yeah, within about two seconds of them being in, out of the heat, they will, they will crisp up. And they just make the best topping. I want you to make me some brittle, so we're just gonna, I mean, we'll, we'll cook these off for a bit. For a bit. Um, but I actually, yeah, I want you to caramelize those a bit. I just want the sugar to melt around them. I'm gonna um, get that hot. In the meantime, I'm just gonna make a really quick dressing. Okay. So I've just got a chili. A couple of limes, just got some coriander. I'm just going to chop that fairly finely. And I'm just going to pour in some of this oil into this dressing. Okay, so we're going to cut across. I'm actually going to cut this into quarters. Um, I'm actually going to brush. You can just um, soak it in it, actually. It's nice if it's had, had a bit of time to soak. So again, another thing that you could do ahead of time for a dinner party, you could make it and marinate it maybe the night before and totally. then just grill it off. I mean, that would be amazing. You can see it's nicely barbecued on the other side. I love that. Exactly what you're after. So we're going to plate that up. We're going to put this main steak in the centre. So um, I've got here the, uh, the sort of chilli chili curry dressing. leaf dressing. Crispy shallots. The crispy shallots. Mm. Amazing. Right, so we're just going to pile on top. Almost like a crown. Right, we should probably have a try. Oh, this please, one. please. Mm. 
Oh my god, it's like a party in my mouth. There's loads going on, isn't there? Oh my god. Mm. That dressing against the hummus is insane. Seriously, try this recipe. It's really good. It's pretty really good, isn't it? Yeah. Are you surprised? <laughs> and it's so packed full of protein. It's mm. unbelievable. You need to try this. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos with me and Giz in the kitchen. And head over to my website, honestlyhealthyfood.com, for delicious, healthy recipes and all the blog posts on our day together in the kitchen.